Hi, welcome back to DIY Tuesday with Oil Life. We're so excited. If you haven't seen already today, the Summer Oil Life Lookbook is out. It will be coming free with any orders for the next three months, and you can also purchase them in packs or um, just buy ones online and in the store. If you buy more than 10, um, more than one, you're able to get them for 50 cents off. We sell them in bundles, they're so great. And we're really excited about today's because the theme of this one is fun and traveling and summer, and so our DIY Tuesday today is all about that. Don't forget that also when you get the lookbook, there's a code on the back for um, a coupon off of your next purchase. So what we're gonna be talking about today is motion sickness. And this is something that for me always comes into play in the summer. So we always wanna be taking new trips, especially around here, there's such fun things to do. You can go hiking, you can go to the lake, or you can maybe go see family. So the problem that we have around oil life is just that we get car sick. For me, I end up having to take like a roll or two of mint mentos with me to be able to calm down the nausea. And that's more sugar than I need. So if you have any suggestions for me, I've looked up some things with oils that we can do. But let me know. Let me know if you get car sickness, what you do, how you make your road trips more pleasant with oils, whatever it is that uh, is your road trip um, pet peeve and how you deal with it. So what we're going to jump into first is what I've found to be the best oils for road trips. And they are, I'm using this cute little clutch. Look how cute this is. We've got lots of little funky patterns. This is our red polka dot case, obviously, but we've got some blue wavy ones, a purple polka dot case, black and white. And these are the perfect size to me for traveling because look at the inside. So I don't know if we can get a zoom on that, but um, it's just got all these small little pockets and they're really tight on these oils. So there's no way they're going anywhere. They're not gonna bang up against each other. And it's got just enough slots for you to take your essentials with you on your trip. So if you don't wanna take your whole collection, this is a perfect clutch to be able to put right in your purse, right in your backpack, whatever you're traveling with, that will have all of your favorites. So again, these are like the best ones for car sickness especially, but let us know which essentials you always take with you on your trip. Leave those in the comments. I want to see what is your favorite oil to take on trips? What can you not leave home without? So this collection is ginger, peppermint, a digestive blend, and lavender. And um, from what we've gathered, these seem to be what help people the most. So this is what I'm going to try on my next trip. Some things that we've heard people do is they use um, cotton balls. I've got this little tissue and they just rip off a piece of a tissue or use a cotton ball and just drop a couple drops. And this is fun because it can soothe you if you're car sick. Put a little bit of peppermint, a little bit of a digestive blend. Ginger's great for this. Smell a little bit and it should be able to calm you down. Another thing this is great for is car games. If you have kids or you're traveling with people who are restless, you can always play Guess That Smell. And it sounds a little simple, but it's so fun. You wouldn't even guess. Some of, the, some of the oils that you can use are just a lot of fun that you wouldn't think to use. Cilantro is a good one, basil, um, orange is always good smelling to people, grapefruit. And then you can just play that game and entertain yourselves while also getting all the benefits of aromatherapy through oils, which is so great. You guys know I love my diffuser necklace. And the thing I love about this on road trips is that I don't feel like anyone else can smell it. I don't know about some of you, but sometimes I feel self-conscious about how much the oils smell when I apply them topically. So if I put them to my temples, say I'm using um, a tense blend or um, like aromatage or something like that, I feel like other people around me can smell it. So it's great for me, but I don't want to fill the car if somebody else is feeling sensitive to that smell. These are so nice because they smell enough that I can smell it as it's hanging, right? I can get the benefits of it, but I don't feel like it's overbearing to other people. So let me know what you think about that. Any other tips that you have about not being overbearing like on a bus or an airplane, but still getting the benefits of a room therapy. Okay, and this is so exciting. So again, make sure that you pick up a copy of this because it's got a lot of our new products in it that will be perfect for summer and traveling. And my two favorites right now are these two car diffusers. So we've got the Journey. And um, we have the journey in white and in black, and I'm so curious. Um, please leave in the comments, would you get the black one or the white one or this little car diffuser? Let us know which one is your favorite because I have yet to try one out and I want to know for my next road trip. So tell me, white or black in the journey diffuser or this little mini car diffuser from CarScent? I'll show you how they both work so you can get a little bit more of an idea. This one is so easy. It's got this little knob on the side and these just slide out. I don't know if you can see that. And it's just this little pad. And the car, scent, um, car diffusers are great because they come with more of these refillable pads. You'll have to replace them every now and then, but they last for a long time. 
and um, just put one or two drops of whatever oil you want to diffuse and then slide the pad back in and this just goes right into the little cigarette lighter in your car and it'll just diffuse. These are great because, um, again, you can, there's no water, so there's no mess, and you can be changing out the oils as you change out the pads. And I think three pads come with this car diffuser already, so you're set for a while with these, which I love. I think it's so convenient. And then this is honestly like a mini diffuser right for your car holder. So this works just like any other diffuser you might have in your home. I'll pull off the top here. It's just an easy cup. Fill it with water as you normally would and a couple drops of whatever you want to diffuse and then put the top back on, put it in your car holder so it doesn't spill around and you'll connect it the same way with the cigarette lighter. These are so great. I'm so excited to try one. Let me know which one I should try first and let me know if you've tried them before and if it's made a difference in your car sickness or on your road trips or if you've noticed any difference with your passengers, your kids, whoever you're traveling with. Okay, so lastly, this is our DIY part. We're going to put together a pre-made um, diffuser recipe. And I'm using this dram vial just because when I travel, I don't always want to take all of my oils with me. So, for example, um, patchouli is one that I don't normally use. But if I wanted to make a recipe, a diffuser recipe specifically for this road trip, and it has patchouli in it, then I can just pre-make the recipe and take this little vial with me so I'm not using a bunch of space for oils that I don't use every day. So this was suggested to us by Sandy in Arizona at our Mesa store. There's a Mesa store for oil life, so if you didn't know, make sure you head over there. Um, thanks, Sandy, for sending us this recipe. Add your recipe if you have a car sickness recipe or your go-to road trip, pre-adventure, uh, whatever it is that you love. Add that recipe because we, we love to share it. Maybe we'll be able to put it on our next video. So this is just one drop of patchouli. This is one this is one smell that I forget that I like so much. And then it's gonna be two drops. This is Lang Lang. Some of these come out faster, that was fast. And then two drops of wild orange. Mm, never get sick of wild orange. And one drop of sandalwood. Okay. And then I'm using a dropper top just because for me then it's easy to take the mix and put it into whatever I'm going to put it into. So let me know again which diffuser we should try first and I'm going to take this recipe and we'll try it out on our next road trip. If you have any suggestions for car sickness, if you've tried to use oils to combat this or to make your road trip smoother, please let us know. Don't forget to pick up the summer lookbook and let us know what your favorite part about it is. We're loving this book this time. And don't forget to grab it for the code on the back. We'll see you next time. Bye.